Well, welcome to HBF for this week. It's good to gather uh, again for another week of Home Bible Fellowship, really intimately together as the church family. You'll notice I'm outside in the sun. I think this week you'll have been enjoying, I'm sure, sunshine and warmth and just a sense of spring. You might see up behind me up here, the uh, cherry blossom already blossoming and blooming. Why don't we just open up our time together uh, and just share a bit of the things that are encouraging you in your life, things that are good, that are going on well, uh, some things of struggle maybe and challenge that we can be praying for one another in. But let's encourage one another just for a few minutes, some roses and some thorns as we open up. Well, tonight we're going to look at 1 Peter chapter 2, following on from where Alexander was preaching on Sunday past there. He was preaching in chapter 2 in the first eight verses but we're going to look at the verses following that but thinking about the things that he was saying about uh, the Christian's life being built on Christ the Christian's life uh, being about serving the church and making spiritual sacrifices and the Christian's life being both an acceptable life to Christ but rejected by the world so why don't we read together first Peter chapter 2 verses 9 to 12 Why don't we stop together and read God's word and then pray afterwards. So Peter is saying here in these verses, you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession. Peter is describing the Christian and the church the scattered believers who are citizens of heaven, but pilgrims here on earth, he's describing their new identity. And he describes it in these ways. A new race, a a race of people that have been chosen by God, a royal priesthood. Bear in mind what Alexander was saying last Sunday there about priestly worship and sacrifices in our bodies, in our lives, in our treasure and time and talents to God. And he calls us a holy nation, a people who are holy and set aside for God as a display of his character. Just like how God called the people of Israel of old to be holy and gave them the law in which they would live holy before him. But he also calls them a people for his own possession, a people that would be his people and that he would be their God. So why don't we just stop for a minute here and let's just chat together about how we see that playing out in our own lives and how we see that playing out as a church here in the centre of this town in the nation of Scotland. How are we a chosen race? How are we a royal priesthood? What does our spiritual worship and sacrifice look like in our lives, in our families, in our workplace, in our church? How are we holy and set aside like a, like a nation set among nations? And how do we display a sure certainty of our belonging to God and him being ours. Let's chat around what that looks like in your life and in our church together. Peter goes on after describing the Christians and you and I in those terms, he goes on to say that we are to proclaim, he says that you may proclaim. So in light of all that we are and all that we've discussed, there's a purpose, we have a job to do that we may may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness and into his marvelous light. So we're now all of this, who the people of God are, and we're now children of light, we're now in the light, but we're in a dark world. And in the dark world, look what he's saying. He said, we are now to proclaim to the darkness, to those who are lost and perishing, we're to proclaim the excellencies of him who called you. So let's discuss a little bit together. What does it mean to proclaim the excellencies of him who called us out of darkness? What are the excellencies of Christ? Why do we encourage one another with some things that come to our mind when we think about the beauty, uh, the excellencies of Christ and God as he is displayed in Christ? Perhaps turn to Colossians 1. You can think of other places to go and and be reminded of the excellencies. So let's discuss how do we proclaim the excellencies? What are the excellencies and what does that look like 
proclaiming the excellencies as children of light to the darkness, to a dark and perishing world. Let's chat about that for a minute. I love how on Sunday there, Alexander said a really interesting thing as he was preaching. He said, he said, it's like somebody saying, I like you, but I don't like your wife. Talking about how Christ identifying with the church as his body. When we diss the church or don't like the church or, or slag the church off or, or don't invest and sacrifice and serve the church. What we're basically doing is doing all of these things to Christ himself. You see in there, in verse 10, as he closes this section out, Peter says, once you were not a people, once you were orphans, lost, lonely in the world, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, once you were due the just punishment for your sin, but now you have received mercy. Peter's rounding this up by saying, you're a people. You're a new people with a new purpose. You are now a people who are together gathered as the church to be a light, to be a display of God's holiness and his glory. So as we end up tonight in our discussions, why don't we chat around what that looks like to be the people of God, to be a people who have received mercy and are merciful with others as we extend the gospel and proclaim the good news to them. What does that look like for us to love the church, to cherish the church, to invest in the church, to serve the church, to live out our theme verse this year in 1 Peter 4, verse 10, where he says, as each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's grace. What does that look like for us to love the church, to serve the church, and to be a display of all of that to God's glory? Why don't we end up tonight and encourage one another? Perhaps in ways you see that at work in others or gifting in others or how we can be doing that all the more as we see the day drawing near.